Manchester United draw against Crystal Palace at Sellers Park and the United Twins need to speak about it. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, CM. Make sure you're hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new, and sharing to your friends and frenemies for more videos. Crystal Palace nil, Manchester United nil. And when it's all said and done, the result will most likely be seen as frustrating and, and disappointing. And we'll get straight to the point. Missed chances. The, the first half was probably the best we've played all season so far. One of the best halves of football under Eric Ten Hag aesthetically. In possession, the build-up was slick, patient when it needed to be, unlike the latter stages of the second half, and we created some good chances. Five big chances missed in the first half, in fact, which only adds on to us being the league leaders in that statistic. Overall, it's 17 now. Five more than Aston Villa and Liverpool. However, both of the aforementioned sides have scored five more goals than us. Liverpool, of course, being the joint best defence in the league. Whether it was the crossbar denying Alejandro Garnacho or the legs of Dean Henderson stopping the Ligt's header low into the ground, Manchester United continued the theme of not being clinical. Unlike Daniel Dubois tonight against AJ, we lacked the knockout blow, which... You always pay for in the game of football one way or another. And just to relay your earlier thoughts, I was entertained by the first half performance. Garnacho was extremely active down the left hand side, Ahmad on the opposite wing, even though he wasn't as involved, showed his neat and tidy footwork, ball control. Unfortunately, as a whole, as a collective, we became sloppy in the final third and that became even more evident as the second period progressed and perhaps when frustration sets in, you start to tire and momentum shifts, you know, the, the game becomes more uncomfortable to play in. Those elements of confidence start to fade. I did think Palace had a 15-ish minute period after growing into the game where they pushed us further back and bringing on the likes of Rashford, Garte and Rasmus Hoyden returning didn't switch the dynamics in a way we needed in order to grasp back a hold and end the evening victorious. Remember when you mentioned uh, you mentioned punishment for missed chances, Caps? Yeah. It, it could have been just that if it wasn't for Andre Onana's excellent double save to deny Eddie and Ketia, and then the substitute is made a sock. At that point, I felt, I felt when and truly like the tide had turned. <laughs> Eze also missed an even better opportunity oh. when really a player of his quality should have dispatched such a chance if I'm being real. So we can count our lucky stars that his side footed finish connected with the ad boards instead of nestling in Onana's net. The Women's Super League season kicked off on Friday. Manchester United women started their campaign at midday Saturday in Old Trafford against West Ham United. It was well documented about the difficult season Mark Skinner side endured with a lot of pressure being sent his way. Questionable mm. job security perhaps. That was until Skinner received a year's contract extension. Let us know what you think about that by the way ladies and gentlemen. After delivering an FA Cup the first major trophy for our women's side competed in the Champions League qualifiers but in many ways were extremely inconsistent in the WSL and that resulted in a fifth place finish after narrowly missing out on the title a season prior 21 points worst off mm -mm. with the many losses mm -mm. to key players over the last couple of years additions and returnees like Elizabeth Turlin Grace Clinton coming back from Spurs on loan who scored on her debut being integrated into the squad players like Gabby George who are out injured long term returning those things if all goes well will result in us having a refreshed squad one that is different and I'm interested to see how they bounce back a 3-0 victory at OT JC Leah Galton and, and of course Clinton getting on the score sheet was just the start everybody probably wanted and needed so Europa League football will entice us in the upcoming week, kicking off our league phase against FC Twente at home on Wednesday before hosting Spurs on Sunday. 
in terms of the Palace game, what are your thoughts overall? Who stood out to you performance-wise? And, and what will you take heading into future games, starting from Wednesday? Hmm. Promising signs for sure, with players returning from injury. Already mentioned Rasmus. Mason Mount was also there on the bench. Tyrone Malassia competed in a group warm-up training session this week. So his return is getting closer. But it will still take some time. Based off of that first half, Manchester United should have walked away with the victory today. But football is not a game of could have been records. It's about what you do. Unfortunately, our what resulted in drop points so away against an opponent in Paris where we are winless in our last three encounters now. So if you've reached this point of the video, with all that being said, make sure you're hitting that like button. Subscribing if you're new, sharing to your friends and frenemies. And until the next time, we'll see you lot sooner.